I'm here today, Ninjani, Lana Namtlanji at the ANCG TV in Pete Uprazeb from his thing, um, and everything else. I'm in my listing, my Uzo's Uzo's issue, lazy in using to add to Mingazo, Tarawa Fide, Latasha, his own memesa. Prazeb, no one sends his camera, Mampel, and yeah. Yeah, so I was introduced to the Mampela. I was told that the story of Mampela is a script. What does democracy mean for you in the past? In okay, years? my real name is Don Mlangini Waganawa. Yeah, 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 Don Mlangini Waganawa. When we talk about t television, we go back to his cut really from you were acting before democracy and on television, on national television. Yeah. Um what way do you think things have changed from from under the twenty years of democracy before and after? Um uh, a lot has changed. Um most African people own production houses today mm. because of democracy. Young people are emerging, new talent is coming in, people are giving opportunities, not only on television, but in other, within the industry. Mm -hmm. Most young people, musicians like you, mm -hmm. coming from that, uh, you are a product of democracy. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot has changed, actually, mm -hmm. yeah. In 1994, when, when, when people were standing in the lines, where were you and what was your mind state at that time? Uh, in 1994, I actually I was involved with some company doing voter education uh, throughout the country, mm. teaching people how to vote. At the same time, canvassing for the ANC, I was based in the West Eastern Cape. With, that was Comrade Wolomisa then, who okay. was in the Eastern Cape, helping to, to canvass people to vote for the organization. So. At that point in time, what were the struggles that you went through before that? And while you were canvassing, were you like, did you believe what was about to happen? Look, the atmosphere was different as compared to now. Everybody was looking forward to vote because it was the first time. We are all looking forward to it because it's um, a, a right that was denied uh, for, from Abantunabamnyama for quite a long time. So it was an opportunity for everyone. Everybody was looking forward to vote. So it was not like today where people had many choices or some of them would uh, uh, sit back and say, I'm not going to vote. But it was quite different. It was exciting. Everyone was looking forward to it. Would you have an idea, and just be honest, you know, because we are here talking the truth. <laughs> the truth okay. will set you free. Uh, would you have an idea why have we lost that excitement? Because one can say it's only the youth, but I don't think it's only the youth that, that have lost that um, excitement. Do you know, would you know, what's your opinion on that? I think uh, as since 1994, people uh, have learned a lot in the new democracy. They've experienced different challenges, and therefore that informs their response to uh, Ama elections mind. Because uh, a lot has happened. It depends what we and the map Ama choices and what information we tolerate information. Because some people are misled, and then they end up Baba reluctant, and Baba Abanye they they become. Um, I would say. Baba, more confused, they really do not understand because I think information, as far as the democracy is concerned, I think some way, there are challenges, that is why most people are confused, they reluctant, they decide to take a position. I think that's the reason. Whereas in 1994, we all wanted change. Today, people have opportunities. The NC has created a platform for people to have a critical thinking. So, you understand? I think that's the reason. So, in closing, maybe the, what I would ask is that uh, as a, I don't know, as an ex-educator ex of voting, what would you like to close with and say that, um, this is what people need to do when they go out there. Have you got any message for Abantaba Pelele Umoya, who probably are discouraged to vote? Um, I, think the, I, think, I think the challenge lies with the government of the day. Uh, it is important 
to, to educate people throughout the five years, Lee, whoever goes into power. Yes. Um, to educate in all departments, they should sort of disseminate the information with this department has done this up to this end, education, we have done this so that people get informed all the time. Because what happens in South Africa is that you only get negative uh, 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 media reports. Mm -hmm. The positive things is yeah, they are straining as a bazaar. Mm -hmm. Right now, I've got my cast, the, the guys who are performing outside. Yeah. Some of the information that they are disseminating there, some of the public information there by us. Mm. So, which simply means there is a mistake with communication. Yeah. I think that what is important is that most government departments, whether provincial, local, or national, they have to tell the public what is going on and what are the achievements and what are the challenges and how long will those challenges confront and move really forward. Because people about that are just informed in the wrong. What you see in newspapers or what you hear on radio and television sometimes, the information is negative, whereas the positive information is far. I think that's the problem. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Don Mlangeni Nawa, for joining us. Uh -huh. You've heard it from the man, legendary, um, in culture, he's he, he's done almost everything. Uh -huh. He's move. He, he's done. He's done from Abostumo right down to Intipo, you know, which they call the Mama Soap Wali in Catles, you know. <laughs> so to theatre, he's he's amazing man in culture. So thank you, Mr. Donum Langin. So Siabo. thank you so much. Siabo. Ita Amanda. Ah, uh, we too. Ita for two people. Ah, uh, we too. Peace. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.